Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, to my XCOM 2 Let's Play. I was gonna start this Guerrilla Ops and I really, really want to take a heavy with me. I think... I think I'm gonna take the heavy instead of him. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Because Mox serves a similar purpose to a, uh, to a ranger anyway, so it's fine. Um, we still don't have our good sniper rifle back, I presume. Nope. I also will put a uh, personal combat sim on my Reaper to make sure she can move further. I will additionally put a uh, combat sim on him to increase his dodge. Wait, do I have... Do I have two superior speeds? Oh, I do. I don't need it. It would be useful on... Would be useful on a sniper too. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. So these hacking things you always want to take one of your specialists with you because they always have the chance of having something really helpful as one of the rewards when you're hacking. Dr. They have a very high chance of that. methods of intercepting the alien's data on their latest operation. And it looks like he's found the location of an exposed terminal we could gain access to. Unfortunately, Advent is already in position attempting to freeze the connection. Move in and neutralize all hostile contacts. Secure the area and recover that data. We have to stop their progress before it's too late. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I like the maps with the small buildings, I really hate those with the large buildings, they're a giant pain in the ass. But this is one of the small building maps, so it's fine. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area, expect hostile resistance. Yes. Oh, I'll move to this place first. Oh shit, I need to move in a completely different direction actually. Well, okay. I usually just move in the direction they spawn me in and don't really think about it. Uh, yeah, so that was smart. Okay. Um, I don't know, I don't want to find a pod on this turn, if I can help it. Yes, that Commander. would be bad. But we are um, hidden, so it's not really that much of a problem. We're concealed. But I'll in case, I'll just... We should probably move through this building because it's the shortest way. So we need to get here. Yeah, we probably shouldn't be Good moving that far to the left. Mm. 
so sniper. If I move her here, I probably shouldn't be able to find a pod. I hope. Or she can see a pod, but she shouldn't be able to run into a pod or activate a pod Good or copy. something. Moving on target. Also, if you run out of time in one of these missions, you can use your Reaper just to get there and um, and uh, do the objective if it's your last resort. But again, it's much more useful to use a specialist because he can actually get you really As useful you stuff. I know where you are. So you see Their clumsy patrol is moving. Oh boy. How do you get uh how do I deal with those guys? Okay, so I see all three of them, so I should be able to move to not be seen. Well I should be able to um, actually see their detection squares accurately. I will teleport me. Oh position. shit, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I will teleport Mox because he's so far out of position that and I want to use him in the next turn and we should probably not waste more than one turn dealing with these guys. Because if we do, we're pretty far behind schedule when it comes to um, when it comes to when it comes to our time constraint will do we're just gonna go here I hope they don't flank me okay so our sniper well we'll just go here and hope for the best and with her well we don't really need to move that far it's fine I, am on watch. I was gonna say I could move her okay so what I will do now is I'll just attack whoever I see using my sniper she can't move anyways and she can one shot the viper which is, which would be good but she didn't We've been spotted. so we are gonna try to finish the viper with our probably revealed reaper no, isn't, she isn't revealed which is good can i move her in a way that I can flank the Viper and not be revealed. I can. That's very good. I could also just um, play more of these guys. Might be overkill though. I might want my Claymore for something a little bit more useful. I think I can deal with them without using having to use my claymore. We'll see. I'll first see how I can take care of the um, can take care of the trooper. Okay, so I can probably just kill the mech using. Him. It did not strike the flesh. Because we have zero pin. So good. Okay, so I am going to flank and kill the Viper with my Reaper. I should have picked up that loot. That's not bad. Does she get the check three times? No, she just gets it once. Okay. So we have a 100% chance of killing the Viper. Tell your God Good. Coming. More kills she gets, the faster she levels up. Which is 
also good. I will probably use one grenade on this dude right here. Um, move him here. Let's Could actually already. just throw a grenade using. Oh, uh, this isn't good. We didn't want that to happen. So I only have one melee unit to deal with these guys. Okay. So. Did I already move him? Yes, I did. Which is bad. Which is real bad. We only have these two guys left. So basically, we want to take them off the board. Which really didn't work out. Okay, so this could really be bad if, if everything goes really bad um, or terribly. Then we could have three mind controlled units at the end of the, at the beginning of the next turn. So maybe my it could kill a sectoid, but it's not very likely. So I should take out the trooper in case he throws a grenade and hope that they don't mind control my people because that would just be a big problem. There's one guy mind controlled. Oh no, he isn't. He's just panicked. So if that's the way you handle being panicked, I'm fine with it. Okay, so maybe they're not allowed to have like three mind control checks in in one turn. So this was basically perfect. Um, I will take this shot, but I didn't like it because it was not that likely. So I should probably use her to take out the cover. Okay, so let's think about it. Well, I could also just... So this tells me there's a pot back there. Um, I will just put my claymore here and I have to make sure that I can actually shoot it. It could actually kill both of these guys. Can I actually trigger the claymore using our remote start? Oh, oops. I'm an idiot. No, I can't. Okay. Not just for reference. Okay, so these guys, well, the guy on top should be super dead. It's standing next to an explosive barrel. I'll need more okay, so we got soon. both, which is perfect. I will use one turn to pick up loot. I'm on it. Asset secure. Which is great. Moving Expanded to the magazine is very useful. So, marks. I'll move up shifter. Might be able to hack the thing from there. Probably not. Probably from here. I think he has line of sight here. Tired of waiting around. He doesn't. Okay, so I'll just. I. Hmm. So there's very likely. Okay, so. The, the pot has to be here. I don't know if there's another pot. Usually there's one behind the objective, so I don't really want to try that out. Especially since we have some more turns. So there's no reason to this. risk it. And we'll just move him up as well. Covering distance. We can also grapple next turn with him. And we will try to just move in our specialist. 
Well, we'll first look at the situation with our um, Reaper. I will reposition. Just to see if we can see any pot here. So I would expect there to be a pot behind this. Maybe I can just remote uh, trigger. Yeah, I can just remote trigger any explosive on the map, regardless if it does damage to. Okay, so he should definitely have line of sight here, but not to them. The game tells me there's no line of sight here. To the enemies, but there's line of here sight too. Could be, it should be line of sight to the objective. And there is, that's just great. I'll take a look. Okay, let's see what we can get from that. Oh, I think I will try for the easier one because this is very good if we can get it. Yeah, so we can basically counter all of the dark events. That's really good. System infiltration of progress. Okay. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent this files. Eliminate great. any remaining hostiles in the area. I don't believe the sniper will be very useful. Okay, so I can pretty much move in here scot free, I think. Because I don't care if they see me on their turn, but I don't see I don't think I can actually find them on my turn. But I'll just move her here because Money. it's safer and she's closer anyways. And Mox, I'm not gonna use his ability yet, I maybe he'll come in. Um, maybe he'll help us. So she is very likely gonna be completely useless in this engagement okay. because I imagine they will move and um, find my... Watch the flames, yeah. they're moving. Just like so. We are known to them. So our Reaper is revealed, which is never good, but might be fine in this case. We'll see. So remote start. I think I can just explode any why can I use shadow on this turn? Oh, because I didn't... Um, okay, so you can't use shadow on the same turn that you get revealed, but this isn't the same turn I got revealed because I got revealed on their turn and not on mine, and now we are on my turn. Okay, so I will use his teleport. Can I get to the ceiling or to the roof in any way, shape or form? I cannot. So I will move here, I think, and hope. Well, can I see anything from here? I'll try. Because I really want to attack. No, I can't. So, um, I can't even get over that. Okay, that's dumb. Okay, so I can only use one action with with Mox. I can flank this trooper, but I should take really should take care of the um, of the stun lancer because he can do quite a bit of damage. So we need to prioritize now. Um, stun lancer will really mess up one of my people. I don't know, I don't even know what to do with her because I, if I put her on overwatch she has a very good chance of actually killing the stun or she has a useful chance I guess of killing the stun lancer well okay so I can almost kill this one with a pretty good reliability 
So what I will do is I will... I don't think it matters if we get flanked by the stun lancer because he shouldn't... Well, I think the correct position is here. Heading out. Okay. Okay, so we are going to shoot at our mech. Good. Run and dry on ammo. We are going to use marks in order to stun, ironically, the stun lancer. I go as ordered. I don't think we can. Well, maybe we can actually just pull the stun lancer towards us. Well, it's an 80% chance, so it's not that bad. Can I finish him off? For the fallen. If I can. Okay, so we have the stun lancer near marks, which is useful. Um, we can actually attack twice with a shifter if we can put him in a position where he can see two people. Which is here. But in that case, I need him to hit the shot. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I will put shifter. I can't put shifter outside. <sighs> okay, I'll put him here. I will shoot at the trooper was our chance with the stun lancer okay we killed it Gonna we did not kill too. the trooper so everybody's injured and nobody's dead okay so what we are going to do well she can actually shoot which is very interesting okay so so the biggest do we have oh wow so I didn't really think about the possibility of the trooper not dying which was a dumb thing I did uh, okay I can guarantee to kill the stun lancer. This will, but this will also end my turn. I think the um oh this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, so we really need to make sure we kill two of the doofuses. up and look at her percentage it's not good so I will give an additional turn to we will him. Overcome. so what I would imagine will happen okay okay so I'll take this it's slightly better you want some more I will put her into shadow and I will kill the I'm, I'm gonna kill the Okay, do I have any close well we don't have any units that are very close to each other but the the mech is very likely to crit marks and we do not want that at all so we are just gonna have to tank one attack by the stun lancer which is dumb as fuck 
So that wasn't really that bad, but it was still dumb. We, we just got minimum damage on pretty much everyone. Um, so now we just basically... I'll finish him off with Mox. Because Mox needs to level up as quickly as possible. And that should be the end of the mission. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Okay. We got one slightly injured, but the rest was good. And we also delayed the other um, dark event by two weeks, which is incredibly useful. But everything's still going pretty swimmingly, so I think we should think about taking out the black side. Since it's easy right I now. wondered how the new gear would hold up, Commander. Looks to me like it's working out just fine. Oh boy, everybody's tired. Well, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, we just got a normal expanded magazine. That's not that good. Another impressive useless, effort, actually. Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Go oh, Intel, I don't care. Oh, our workshop is not ready. Um, oh, we did get an additional engineer, that's good. Don't have any useful place for him to go at the moment, so I will just... Can I help with anything? No. I, don't, I, I think I'd see it on this view, so I'll just have him excavate. No, I'll have him do this, because we want that in order to get our um, psionics lab as quickly as possible. Hmm, maybe we should take power. I don't know. We'll see in the next the episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>